Zambia's got a strong and rich history of leveraging off and into the arts. The thought around young talent was to commission a really nice bench for a smallish space. We did brief a group of young artists and when they came back, we were looking at the possibility of a 13 meter bench, which could weigh as much as 10 tons. We were asked to make a bench and we don't just want to make a bench that you sit on, or we don't just want to make a sculpture either. So this combines the two elements and it becomes sort of like an adult playground. What I loved the most about that was, was the fact that they'd taken an idea that was around creating a place on campus yes. where students could come and think. And they'd, they'd done exactly what young people do, which was to flip it on its head and say, well, we're not just going to make a bench. The benches are inspired by the painting by Raphael called the School of Athens. And it actually captures the imaginary picture of the thinkers of all time. And you'll notice when you see the bench how they've captured the figures of all of those thinkers. From one side, all you can see are these clean typographic lines which spell out the word think. But as you move around it, it congeals again to become um, these figures sitting on the benches. The question was, you know, can we do it? From the maquettes, a scan was made, it was scaled up and broken into segments of layers of polystyrene. Glued it together. Moulds were made, moulds cracked. Yeah, speaking to various guys, it was like, okay, it's not really going to work like that. What they eventually did was cut the figures into smaller chunks. And then the idea was to reconstruct the concrete again. I also remember Louis being desperate, saying, I'm not convinced we can pull this off. But a real problem was to actually install these 30 loose elements of concrete onto a site that you can still stand back and read the word think. And I think this notion of the of the more portable one that that we now have, the resin, yeah. the resin version, is, is just such a wonderful opportunity to actually take it out into more places. Solutionist thinking requires the whole solution to be a whole lot greater than the sum of its parts. It's got to be a collaborative yeah. journey from the beginning to the end. At least 25 to 30 people can sit on that bench and say, I had a hand in this. When you're thinking about something with quality thinkers around a table, and very importantly, you're collaborating. So you're allowing all the different thoughts to come in from all the different perspectives. And, and you know, then you get diversity of thinking, then you get wonderful solutions, then you get the magic that RMB promises and delivers to clients, which is solutionist thinking.